in every dynamics ERP, we have global or financial dimensions. These are specially set up dimensions which can be used in every application area. Like we have a business unit using in sales, purchase, finance, manufacturing, inventory, civil payables, and fixed asset. Most common usage of financial dimensions are cost center, department, business unit, line of business, product type, division, sector, or many other. Because they are usually used in the finance, they are named financial dimensions. And in our case, we have set up five financial dimensions with the prefix FD, so can, we can quickly find them. In Business Central, you can set up up to 20 financial dimensions, and most of the 60 transactional tables are already connected to the financial dimensions. And in finance and operations, you can set up unlimited financial dimensions. And most of these 50 measure groups or transactional tables or facts are already linked to financial dimensions. The global dimensions can pick up transactions from every application area and end in general ledger. They are particularly suitable to analyze financial statement. So we can easily change financial statement by period into financial statement by any global dimension. In this case, let's go by customer group, or we can have in business central, even a hierarchy over a global dimension. If the hierarchy can have up to eight levels, it's very suitable for grouping large dimensions that are available in dynamics. And it's understood also that any given report, you can nest global dimensions and you can really get interesting insights. If you are not using items in your dynamics, you are depending for your analytics on financial dimensions. And you are usually using between five and 10 financial dimensions. Most of our customers is using 42. There is a difference between the global and financial dimensions in terms of how much information they provide in a static aspect. So you can see that financial dimensions usually have only code and description. While if you look into the standard dimension, you can have as many attributes as you want. Which dimension you will be using where, it really depends on how you want to do the analytics. If you want to assign a lot of attributes, then of course you'll use a standard dimension. If your dimension wants to cover all application area, then the right choice is to go for global dimension. Now, what are not financial dimensions are all other dimensions, which we don't say standard dimension actually are standard, but just dimensions like customer, vendor, item, location, company, document, sales, and so on. And they are connected or contributing information only to a specific transactional table or business area, like customer has information about the sales and receivables, but of course not in all other areas. So these are more limited, the global measures are more global.